Welcome back guys to another Forza Horizon 4 video and in today's video we're going to be doing another drift series and uh, if you haven't seen the last video well this is what we were using and messing around with it's a Lamborghini Huracan Performante and I said this in the last video it's just for looks it's not the fastest car it's literal trash if you haven't seen the last video I definitely recommend go watching it so you can see how horrible this thing actually does around the track. Alright. Now. We're at Fortune Island. Because our drift. Uh, road is over here. And as you can see. It is absolutely thundering and raining. And it is just. An entire mess. So hopefully when we go to the shop. And upgrade and get. Or when we get our car from the auction house. And then upgrade it. Hopefully by the time we get out, it won't be like this. Alright, so let's head over there and let's go see what type of car we can harvest from the auction house for a cheap amount of money. Alright, so we're here at the shop, at the auction house, and then we're going to throw on max buyout at $50,000, as always. And we're going to see what we can get out of that. We can get a Volkswagen GTI. Not sure how good that is at drifting, but we can get that. We can get a N Nissan Silvia K. Yo, that would be a steal. Let's get that. Place a bit on that. If we can get that, we can throw $47,000 worth of upgrades onto this thing. And hopefully we can get a nice car out of that. Alright, so we have our car. Alright, Nissan Silvia. We need drift suspension. That's like a must-have for these drift cars. All right, and then I want to do wheels or tires. Yeesh, that's a lot of money. We'll do $5,000 for that. And then we can... Not too much. 245s in the rear should be fine. In the front, we can throw 235s. And we, we would love these wheel spacers. Look at that. That looks better. And then let's upgrade our turbo. Hopefully we can upgrade our power a lot. That way we have a lot of power going down the drift road. And there we go. A perfect $47,000. We paid exactly $50,000 for this thing. And 649 horsepower weigh 2,400 pounds. Let's go see how this thing does down the drift road. Alright, so we're up here at the drift road and we're gonna do our first attempt right here. Move you stupid BMW. So, let's get it started. Oh no. I need to get used to how far I can push this thing. I've never driven this car. So I don't know how, how good or how far I can actually, you know, push it. Yo, oh my goodness, that drift. Two hundred and ninety-seven thousand nine hundred and seventeen. Two ninety-seven nine seventeen. That's our first try. It started to rain too, so I mean, it's a little bit slippery, slippery, but. I mean, these are our tests. I mean, there's really nothing I can do about it. So, we're doing for attempt two. So let's start this. And I already spun out. I already spun out. There we go. I'm getting the rhythm of it, guys. Don't even worry about it. That's why we have three tries. Can we keep it going all the way? Nope. Another spin out. Darn it, bro. Three hundred and six, four twenty-six. It says I failed, but I'm going to take it. 306 426 is our new highest 
All right, we have one more try, and I'm going to do it completely without talking and see if that helps at all. All right? So this next one, no talking. I'm going to go all the way down. I'm not going to say a word. So here we go. arrived at your destination 348,000 and I don't remember the rest of the number I'm gonna say 410 348,410 points that is literally the bestest we've I think we've ever had all right that was a Nissan Silvia KS or K's and that was a good run honestly without talking it's a little bit easier to drift because i don't have to concentrate on my words but this is your car guys this is the car that did it all apparently well that's gonna wrap it off for this video guys hope you guys have an outstanding day and i'll catch you guys in the next video